Shortly before the end of World War II, flying car concepts were unsuccessfully proposed for combat strike teams. After the end of World War II and with the large boom in the avionics industry, they were proposed for civilian use. The Convair Model 116 was the concept vehicle to push this proposal. While it was relatively successful in test flights, it somewhat lacked in aesthetics and was only a two-seater. It was later retooled in the Model 118 with a finer looking automobile, which was a four-seater and a more powerful propeller engine. The concept was pretty basic. Load up the car, fly to your destination, remove the mono wing, and then drive wherever you need to go. Only two of the Model 118 were ever built, and that's being a bit gracious. It's more like one and a half. What happened was they had taken off for a test flight and did their pre-flight checklist and everything seemed fine until they got in the air and realized that the fuel gauge that they had checked was for the fuel tank of the car, not for the aviation fluid, which was very low. So they were forced to do a crash landing, which pretty much destroyed the car and somewhat injured the plane portion. They were able to salvage the monowing plane portion and rebuild the car to do a second model a little over a year later, but by that time, interest in the project had gone down to almost nothing and it was canceled. Despite all that, the uh, replica I've put together here flies pretty well. Um, you're going to see the landing here, and obviously the real-life landing would be a bit more complicated than simply detaching and driving away. Uh, you would have to, you know, properly land and take some time to take the model wing off and then drive off into the sunset, but you get the idea. enjoyed this History's Misfits, and please like and subscribe to see more.